Welcome. Oh, it's him. Good evening, Mr. Bailey's. Evening. And I'm the first customer tonight? You are. That's new. Freya not here? She says she's coming later tonight. Got something you need to meet the fellow writer friends? Why not do it here? It's her favorite place, right? Her friends have visited this place from time to time, just not as much as her. Writers gathering, huh? I wonder what writers talk about when they're hanging out. I've known them for some years now. She has this habit, you know? If she said they're friends, it means they're hanging out normally. But if she says they're writer friends, they're probably talking about work. Either giving each other feedback on their latest drafts or sharing validation ideas. Interesting. They even use code words for meeting up. It's not like that. She doesn't even realize what she's saying. It just picked up on it. That's even more interesting. Are you you always so observant? That's part of the job. What? Why is that? People come here every day. Some of them ask aren't as talkative as others. But their body language can be loud and clear. It tells you a lot about things. Whether they need a friendly ear or just want to be alone. It applies to what happens... It applies to what they're ordering as well, because you know, sometimes that what people want is not what they need. That depends on what I should have tonight. That's deeper- uh, <laughs> oh, I don't even know what I just said. Hello? What do you say? That's deeper than I would have thought. <laughs> okay. Okay, bud. So, what are you reading from me now? From me now? Sorry about that, guys. I will say. Why? That would break my ch break the charm. <laughs> what the hell was that? I guess I can say this much. Whatever I say or do to our customers is always related to what is I'm getting from their body language, including our interaction now. Including our interaction now, man. Now that I see why I didn't want to, you want to share. Even that's enough to make me feel like I'm naked in front of you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything. What would? <laughs> what are you having tonight? Hot chocolate with ginger and cinnamon. I hear that that's a good drink for a bitter heart. Hot chocolate with ginger and cinnamon. Bitter heart. Wow. Here you go. Does that show up on here? Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, and so this finally showed up on here. These actually don't tell you how to make it. Oh, it does right here. Coffee, coffee, ginger. We have some. We, we've discovered quite a few, but we still have quite a few we haven't. You're a pretty romantic person, huh? Spending extra time decorating this drink? Only for special people and special drinks. Say, Neo, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Anything. How old are you? Old enough to open a coffee shop. Huh. Oh, man. I guess I should say sorry for asking that. It's alright, but there's only the answer I can give. Now you're making me wonder what, are, what, what I should ask next. Oh, God. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Why are you both looking at me like that? Freya, you look... Horrible. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to echo our dear barista. Yeah, you do. What happened? You'd better be asking what didn't happen, because the answer would be proper sleep and decent progress on my draft. You need to rest and miss my deadline? Hell no. Sorry, Baileys. I won't be able to keep our keep you company because I have to finish this thing. And for that, I need a whole hell of a lot of espresso. Are you sure about that? You really should just rest. Get something to help your sleep. Espresso, please. Okay. She's living on the edge. I don't want to do this. You really need to have a rest, Freya. Just give 
me the damned espresso. Okay. Ah, that'll keep me from falling asleep. Ugh, how was the meeting? It was pretty good. I got a lot of good advice, but that also means things. And not a small number of them, mind you, need to be rewritten. Oh, oh, uh, it's not that bad. Rewriting a part of the process. That's just that. It's just, it's going to be a, my, <laughs> I'm going to be in my usual corner. Thanks for your coffee. I might take it through the night. She looks horrible. She does. But don't worry about her. She'll finish it. This isn't the first time she's acted like this. No, but this time, the stakes are pretty high. Hmm. So, what brings you here today? I'm not even sure myself. I have no plans tonight. And this place just came to mind. Out of the blue. I have to thank you for your some consciousness then. I guess you should. Oh, who's coming down? Oh! Not sure whether I should thank it or not, though. Hi, Lua. Hi, Baileys. How... You first. No, you first. I was just going to ask, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? I'm good, yeah. Hmm, I think I need to order something first. Of course, of course. Go ahead. Hi, Neil. What are you having this evening, Miss Lua? Gingerbread coffee, please. Do I know that? Coffee. Ginger latte. Hmm. But what would make it different? I guess. What is in gingerbread? Cinnamon? So, coffee. Ginger cinnamon. All right, there's some in gingerbread, right? Hey, bud. Here it is. Thank you. My grandma used to make this drink for me. It reminds me so much of her. It reminds me of when I was growing up with my family. How's work? It's going pretty okay. You? It's not, I'm not taking new jobs at the moment because, well, you know. Yeah, I get it. You have enough food in your savings, right? That's very Lua thing of you to ask, but yes, I do. Thanks for at least an annoying job. It went well at the end. Kinda did. They paid me on time, at least, and paid was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. Until the problem, till my problems are settled, I guess. And what problems are those? I'll tell you this, but don't tell anyone, okay? Not even Neo, who's standing right in front of us. Not even Neo, okay? So there's this girl. I love her. We've been going out for a few years. I'm not really sure where we stand now. Hmm. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago, and it wasn't anything new, but somehow, things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? I assume both of us were just tired, knowing that we were fighting against centuries of tradition. We haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea. But I can't bring myself to start the conversation. Why? Even I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe? Or tiredness? Or knowing that chances are we won't be able to find the best solution for everyone anyway. Baileys, I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. She's not like me, that's for sure. Thankfully. Why? At least it won't affect her professional life as mu that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I can take breaks from work without so many problems. I'm not a professional as her, you see. You think- I think you're wrong. Really? If I were her, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. But I'd put a lot of mass- put on a lot of mass just to hide the feelings 
I was going through. That sounds difficult and uncomfortable. It is. My friends told me once, you gotta do what you gotta do. He must have been a pretty cool guy. He is. What's next for us, Bailey? I don't know, Lua. I... I met some new people this week, including the supermodel. You knew? The girl in the, in the corner told me. Yeah, including that supermodel. How does that make <laughs> And how does that make you feel? Like a fool. What? It's a lot of things I've been trying to avoid thinking about. A lot of truths. It's a bit like you, you know? Attitude-wise. You get along with him. I doubt it. Opposites attract. The similar similarity breeds contempt. Ever heard of that before? A lot. From a certain hipster of hipster elf. And after listening to you guys, what are listening to that guy? What are your stances on? You know, us. I'm not sure, Bailey's. What about yourself? Had a similar experience this week? I have, in fact. You met a vampire. I met a werewolf. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds, indeed? What did your werewolf say? Hmm, not much, to be honest. But he made a good point about the importance of our family. Bailey's. I know I've been stubborn about you wanting to make peace with my family, and I know why it's very important to you, uh, for you. But Freya said something that kind of hit me hard. What was it? I was just using it as an excuse to escape my family when I actually wanted to do do that anyway. For myself. You know, you know me, Bailey's. I do. And you know that how I, I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families, which makes me an asshole, I guess. I get why you think that way, Lua. Blood is thicker than water. What, what should we do, Lua? Yes, Baileys? Please let me leave my family. I'll try to get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easier thing to do, after all. But you'll lose your immortality. You'll be outcast among elves. An outcast, a bunch of overly pretentious people, sounds great. You'll you'll live a long time, but you won't be have the perfect health and perfect life that the elven privilege. It's not this perfect life without you. What if our relationship doesn't last? You'll have lost everything. You'll blame me. Lua, I will never blame you for anything. If we're talking about who I used to be, the guy would never blame himself. A hundred reasons for for why something failed, but never anything to do with him. But that won't happen with us. You know why? Because I've learned so many things from being with you for 10 years. It made me a better person. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. I don't need an immortal life. Because without you, it won't be a life worth living. Bailey's, I... Are they gonna make out? I believe in you. Huh? Oh, whoa! Oh, they are making out! Hello? Wow. Ooh, level my life achievement unlocked. Lua. Bailey's. I feel like you were living in a soap opera. It seems so. So, what's our plan? Tomorrow is Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. And I want you to come with me. What? That's so sudden. Did you have... Did you already have plans for tomorrow? Well, no. It's just... I'm not prepared to meet them. You'll be fine. I don't want to tell them about... About this first. It'll... It'll be alright. Well... They'll never forbid you from dating other races. They're not big fans of elves. That much is true. But I can prove them wrong. Hmm. Okay. This could be a good first step. It is. It's set then. I don't know what I'll ha what'll happen tomorrow, but we can think about it and anything else later. I'm with you on that. So does that mean you don't mind me? I had my doubts, but now I'm sure. I can trust you. Lua, thank you. Are you still staying at Farron's house? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. Huh? What 
what about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. Taking a long weekend getaway until Sunday night. Fate's on our side, it seems. Wait, taking a long until... Is her roommate Myrtle? Have we already knew this? Or am I just dumb? I'm confusion. Hey, Neil. Yes? We're leaving. Thank you so much for keeping up with... Keeping up with us this past week. The pleasure was mine. We're off then. See you. Thank you for coming. Well, good for them, I guess. Oh, my tea's gone. Now I'm really sad. That was pretty intense. Oh, you're back in the real world. I just pretended not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing this story. So I've had to see their struggle through to the end. It's important for a writer, you know. That's cold. What? It's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, that was cold. I'm sorry. You better look... You look better than before, though. For now. I can't tell you how I feel until it's done. And I don't. Huh? Excuse me? Who's slamming the door? Hello? <gasps> oh! Oh! He's pissed. Oh god. Oh my god, he's raging. Whoop! Freya, get over there! This wolf? Is that him? I think so. Welcome, sir. Oh my god. Are you crazy? You can't treat werewolves in a in a furry fury like a normal customer. Trust me, he must have a reason for coming here. Rah. You can relax, sir. Do you need anything? Something to calm me down, maybe? Oh god. Um I don't know. Uh... It has ginger in it, right? Galahad. Here's your... Gala had a fit. Oh my god, he's slamming that shit. Yeah. What the hell? Is that really him? After seeing his rapture, the drink, 100%. Well, whoever he is... This place survived, thankfully, yes. But I think I need to close up the shop early. I don't want to cause any more ruckus. And I need to clean up after the mess anyway. Good idea. Can you back all... Can you get back all right by yourself? I'll manage to carry your way back. Be careful, too. See you tomorrow. See you. everyone that was gonna be the last episode in this recording so I don't know how much longer we have but hopefully we'll be done soon and I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you next time 